I don't want the world to turn into a concrete jungle. It gets me kind of choked up, but I don't want to leave this barren, washed out place. I don't want to leave that for my kids. People think that we're on a downhill trajectory. It's one of those beliefs that, that stifles action. After all, if there's no hope, why bother? We inundate kids with junk food, junk food, junk food, junk food, and we know it's making them sick. We're just killing our kids with food. lot of vacant lots in West Oakland. We've been able to acquire permission to use these vacant lots uh, to grow food. If we could do that at more lots throughout West Oakland, we could green that neighborhood. It would be a beautiful place. I believe that farming in really small spaces in an urban setting can make a difference. Hey, Milky. People can feed themselves out of their backyard. Neighbors can share over the fence. It's a real possibility for bringing back low-income communities and reconnecting people to where they live. The connection I have with the ocean is it's just born into me. It's in my blood. It's like I'm in it, on it, or around it every single day. If I get too far inland, my gills start to dry up. Everything you hear about the ocean, about fisheries, is that it's dying and dead. Some people just put their hands up and say, well, I, I'm not even going to eat seafood anymore, period. What I'm trying to do is just bring the information of the fishermen in the ocean to them, help them make the decisions on their own. Black cod, I think, is what Black you want to go with today. It's beautiful. And what's the best way to cook it? You no, know, this stuff's so simple. A little salt and pepper under the broiler. So I've kind of created this model now, working with other local fishermen that are on a small scale, bringing fish right to the dock allows me to give the fishermen a lot more money and um, I get beautiful, super local, right out of our bay, right out of the water, fresh fish. We're here in Boulder, Colorado, really trying to help the school district redo its entire food system to serving healthy food for all its kids. And we're revamping the entire system. We're going from highly processed food, chicken nuggets and tater tots and high fructose corn syrup and trans fats. We're changing all of that and going to salad bars in every school and organic milk and fresh fruits and fresh vegetables and whole grains and really trying to feed kids better. We know that when we change children's relationship to food, when they really start to eat differently, that they can think better, their academics improves, and they're just healthier. They're more well-balanced kids. I think the real issue with beef in America is that the animals become separated from the land. We ought to pause two or three, four or five times a day and consider the food we're eating, where it comes from and, and what is in it. We'll just kind of hold them here and let the cows wait for their calves, okay? What I do is take care of land and animals and people. Grass-fed beef and grassland agriculture offer us some tremendous opportunities to address some of the uh, most problematic issues of the day. Water quantity and quality, climate change, keeping people on the land and well fed. I love that we live in such a lush world. The good news is that we can save our kids from being sick. People are really getting interested in knowing where their food comes from these days. Eaters have to appreciate 
the people who grow their food, the animals and the plants from which their food comes from, and appreciate that we're all connected in many, many, many ways.